Hi, everyone. Welcome to Waku Key Boxing Talks. Today, our guest is Mrs. Mikhaila Kovacheva. She's the chairwoman of Waku Europe Referee Committee for Ring Disciplines, a Waku referee for the ring, a referee in professional kickboxing, and a Waku board member. So welcome, Mikhaila. It's very nice to have you today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm an, an interview with you, Jelko. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so even though you became um, a WACO board member in 2018, um, you have been invo- involved in WACO activities way before then. Um, so can you tell us more about how you started with the sport? Of course. Actually, there is one change. Yes, I became the WACO board member in 2018. But one year before, I was WACO Europe board member from 2017. It was, was like a first step to the board meetings. With the WACO. Actually, I started in, um, almost in 2005 or 2006. Usually, I like sports, and I just one day came to the sport gym, kickboxing gym, and I stayed there long, many years after that. So, well, the first thing was just like to come and have exercise and have, you know, the conditions and enjoy, enjoy the time in the sports and in the gym. But after that, I started as well competing. For well, a few years, I was I used to be a fighter as well. So on the tummy and after then only in the ring spots. Yeah. And so as I heard, you had an injury when you were a fighter, which allowed you to stop fighting and start a different type of career in kickboxing. Can you tell us more about that? I assume it's a story about how you found the, the light at the end of the tunnel, as we say. Well, there was not only one injury, but one really decided to, to change the, the, the position or the in the sport for me. I used to, have, you know, the many just small, you know, the broken bones. It it can happen. You never know during the during the training or during the fights. But when I step up to the ring uh, in 2006, after that I had some injuries, as you know. And uh, in 2009, 2010, I had a bad injury. I had the broken broken uh, bones under my eye, which make me not very comfortable. It make me long consequences. So I I couldn't I couldn't make any sports. I couldn't do anything because my vision was twice almost half year and uh, so I was trying to be in the, in the gym just to do exercise as much as I can I was talking to my coach Peter Onuschak people maybe know him maybe should know him because he was a very uh, former president of Slovak Kickboxing Federation many years he also is an owner of the gym where I came when I was in 2005 15-16 years and started the kickboxing so in 2000, 2007, 2008, I had some small injuries where I already need to figure out what's going on, but I love to do the kickboxing and sport. And his proposal was to me that try to be a judge. And I said, oh, never, Peter, I don't want to be a judge. This is not for me. I want to be just fighter and, you know, enjoy the time in the ring. But later on in 2008, I came and I visited, of course, the seminars for the for the, for the judges in the national federation and just starting to do sometimes on the time when I was, for example, sick or I had some injuries and I couldn't compete during the year. And in 2009, there was possibility to go for the championship in Waco and I got this change because during the one year I had a good result as a as a referee in Slovakia. So I got invitation from my federation to to join the, the championships, and it was like first step in, in, in I guess in international championships, where I see how it's run. It was something new for me, and I realized, you know, that if you are a fighter, you can be in the ring maybe hundred time maximum more, or if somebody is really like a active fighter. And but if you are in the ring uh, as a judge or as a referee and center referee, you can be there more than thousands time even the five, six thousand times. And so you enjoy this time and I really enjoy the time to be inside with the fighters. So I found, I can say light in, at the end of the tunnel after that, that I like the sport also from other view, not just like a sportsman. Yeah, and uh, that, that must have been a long journey and you must have faced um, some challenges while you were um, on your way to become one of the best um, judges um, in kickboxing in general, and now the leader of the Ring Disciplines uh, Committee in Waco Europe. Can you tell us more about those challenges? You know, from, from my childhood, I was always very hyperactive. And, you know, I love sports and I love to do everything uh, for uh, fully, uh, fully time. It means for 100 percent. So when I realized that really I cannot be the fighter anymore in, for example, in professional or in amateur side because of some heart injuries, my last fight was in 2011 in Skopje in the, in, in the World Championships where I broke my leg. <laughs> 
unfortunately. So I decided just to move and be as a judge and as a referee. It, I was almost two years in the VACO. And when I told you that I love to be inside in the ring, and it's, it's kind of the adrenaline you can feel as well as a referee or as a judge because you have to really be powerful on, on, uh, on that fight, on each fight. So I start to go with my team, with Peter, to traveling like every every cup, every open cup, everywhere. So I used to be traveling like every second week, somewhere around, around the VACO tournaments. And it brings fruits because I realized myself that I really love it. I was trying to focus on the job. I was trying to really learn. I was watching the videos, learning the rules, asking, you know, the supervisors what I do wrong, what is good, what I should to change. Watching my videos, how I later on uh, be moving in the in the ring, and this uh, bring changes. And I was really surprised when 2014 in Brazil they gave me the prize, the best referee of the championship for ring sports. So this was like really big point for me. I never realized something like that, and I really admire and I'm really really happy that I get the nomination for it and I got it, and I got this position. Yeah, and uh, so and after well. then you're starting to work all the time. So you go, you know, step by step. And after then, even that you got, for example, like I got this prize, it doesn't mean for me the best. The best for me is, um, means if somebody from the teams, like coaches, fighters, came to me and gave me the respect in the ring, and they said, "I'm really happy that you are in my fight. I'm really happy that you are here, Michaela." And this bring me the the best, you know, satisfaction uh, which I can get it from this. Yes, and I'm sure many, 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 uh, both competitors and other judges told you that. And of course, you're in position to make decisions as a referee and as a board member. So which is more difficult for you to deliver decisions in the ring or <laughs> in the VACO office? Honestly, in the VACO office. Uh, people don't see the job what we do behind the, behind the doors, behind the table, many, many calls. And it's not easy. You know, the VACO board consists of, uh, of uh, 11 to 13 or 15 members. And it's not easy if you would like to present some ideas because, you know, the, the board is a big one. And we have to, we have to of course, uh, face the issues every day, not just like part which you would like to present as a, as a board member. So definitely this is the, the, how can I say, it's more, most harder to decide as a board member, like in the VACO board, as a referee. Definitely, that's the more challenging one. And what would you single out as the most important characteristic that a judge or a referee should have? Most important is many, you know, because it's not just only one which we have to realize as a, as a judge or as a referee. But I think in the in in the complete, if I can say, is a self discipline, because if you are self disciplined, you need to you know to work hard on what you want so you need to of course sacr sacrifice many things to give the time what you are like what you want to do to study of course this is not only just to do something what you love but you have to think about what is right what is correct what is wrong to find the decisions find the find the keep calm in, in can i say in your mind and be neutral believe in yourself because if you are don't believe in yourself you cannot focus on your job and do your job uh, properly so I think that the self-discipline is, I think, so one of the most you have to think about it and respect, you know, in, into each other and in, in, inside in your mind. And uh, after then, you can focus on the job. Yes, definitely. And among many things you do in WACO, one of them is also being the ring supervisor. Is it hard to be in charge for six or more judges and referees at the, um, a big tournament, per se? Yes, it is. It is. Even that people sometimes think that we are just walking from one ring to a second ring and watching. If you are like a supervisor, you have to watch, trying to watch each fight, which is really, really tired because you are standing there many, many hours all day. And you are watching every fight. You are trying to uh, complete the questions from the judges, from the fighters, from uh, from. Uh, if you have to challenge uh, if there is some uh, issues around the ring or during the fight. You have to decide if that uh, decision was wrong or or correct, of course, and be focused on that all the day. So it's not easy. Sometimes we supervise, for example, in the World Cup uh, in Turkey, we have ten rings and we are just only three supervisors. So you have to focus on three or four rings all day and you have fight 50 fights per each each fight. So we can imagine how it's hard. So when we finish, you, of course, you have to do some statistic and the rest is not just easy. Like when you finish like a judge that you go home after the last fight and you are, you know, 
full of all of the information. You have to fill it up and after then focus on another day. So yeah. it's not easy. It's not easy, but uh, if you like this part and if you like uh, to be a referee and judge, you will like it as well. Yeah, it must be very tiring, especially because most tournaments take place during like a man extending period of time, like a few or more days. And it's, it's you have to do it all over again every single day. It must be very tiring. And other than that, you're, of course, a highly respected referee in the professional league, too. Can you tell us about some differences between the fights in the amateur league and the, the pro league from, of course, the judge's point of view? It's really different. It's a big difference. Uh, many people just see that there is a difference by the rules. It's not. It's only one point of the view we can say because, of course, the rules in professional careers or professional spheres are really different comparing to amateur side. And of course, your point as a judge, for example, in the professional league or in professional uh, fights, is really different. We have different criteria, which has to be on the first points, which we have to consider and valid as the first. So it's a big difference. I like both, honestly, because I became from from the amateur and I, I tried by myself two or three professional fights and uh, as a fighter, but from the from the professional side, I, I can say that if you are a judge in pro shows and or referee, it's like another step, it's another level. So you have to become from the amateur, understand all road, what is what's going on, how to proceed the procedures. And when you step up the professional side, you have to think about that these people are not doing this just for fun or for sports, but this is their life, their job. And also we have to do this and watch the fight as a, on the opposite side. And the professional swear is really different. But who, who is working as there? And I, I can say that everybody loves it. the kind of the, the job you can do. Yes, I'm sure you've gathered so much experience in many, many, many different fights. And let's go back to Waku events for a second. Which tournament had remained in your sweetest memory? It's many, many of them, because, you know, as I told you, I was traveling like every second week somewhere out uh, for the for the many tournaments. Mostly when I can say as, as I was as I was a judge or referee in those tournaments uh, in, for example, in Hungary, in Seged, it was a World Cup. Later on, a uh, big change in was Pula, Croatia to championship. After then, because when, when I came to Waco Amateur Events in 2008, so in only, mostly I can say in, in 2009, I feel that there is a place where I, I want to stay and where I become. And, and this brings me really like special emotions because we were in like a huge team. Already people recognized me in 2009, not like a fighter, but like a referee. And uh, the new, I can say, new sphere of my life starts. And so this is one of the points, of course, and that, definitely, but uh, after then, I was really happy and to be honored to be part of the different combat games. As I told you, first of all, when I received the prize in 2013 in Brazil, after then I had the possibility to be in Seoul, Korea, in Asian games, after then also St. Petersburg for combat game in Russia, in Alabama, for example, in, in USA. So every event gave me some memories, which I can, you know, have it for all my life. Because this is most important, which we what we can care about all of them, and I'm really glad that I anytime I can be anywhere. So very every event is something special for me. Yeah, so you see every event um, as like a blessing in a different way. And yeah. for our last question: How do you see the Waco's future? I uh, mean, the perspectives like from the referee side or in the global. Well, if you don't mind answering in both. <laughs> Okay, I can say that I'm uh, really happy uh, from the referee side because we have very great teams also in the world and in Europe. We are doing a really good job in the committees. Uh, so we are really forward and step by step. We, we focus on new new positions, new, uh, new steps. So we are working, you know, in the commissions also how to change some old habits and bring more possibilities for more referees and to bring new people to WACO. But in the global one, I can say that not only in the referee side, but in each uh, each sphere or each part of our organization, we are stepping very step by step. And as everybody wants, even me, I, I wish to be in the Olympic Games. And uh, I hope that we become the Olympic sport in the, in the future. And this is, I think, so the goal that we everybody see in WACO. And this is the biggest boxing federation in the world. And we are growing up very fast. And I can see that everybody can see that we are going fast. So I hope that the future will be only in the light. And hopefully soon we will see the Olympic circuit also and the competition dates. Yeah, of course. 
So thank you so much, uh, Mikhaila, for being here today. This was an amazing interview. We are so grateful to have you. And yeah, and thank you so much for the um, viewers at home watching. See you in the next episode. Okay, goodbye. Thank you so much. I, re I really appreciate the time and for uh, being here for the interview. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We should have a nice day to all and you as well. Welcome. Bye-bye.